Disneyland Paris's 32nd birthday today and I am here to celebrate. I just stepped into the park, Disneyland Park, on the 12th of April 2024 and I don't know why but as soon as I stepped in and said hi to some of the cast members I just felt so emotional. I'm so happy to be here and this park that I love so much is celebrating 32 years today. The atmosphere in this park already feels very special. It's going to be a beautiful day. I'm loving the fact that it's gorgeous weather as well. Look at the skies. So nice, but before we get into the video, I do want to give a big thank you to Disneyland Paris. I am a guest of Disneyland Paris today with Inside Ears. There's going to be loads of fun new stuff happening today, which of course I will keep you updated throughout the day. As I mentioned, there's going to be loads of exciting things happening today. A lot of them news to do with the future of Disneyland Paris, the new shows that are coming, etc. But oh, look at this. Look at the wonderful view of Main Studio Estate. And we've got the castle shining brightly in the back as well. You can kind of see it. There you go, but uh, because it's the 12th of April, an important day, there's also some new merchandise pieces that have been released, so I'm going to go and check them out and see if they have any in stock. A new lounge fly bag was released this morning and they're selling it at the Ribbons and Bow Shop, which is why there's a bit of a queue going on outside. It doesn't look too bad actually. I think there's two separate queues actually. One is to meet Piglet, who's doing a meet and greet over there, and then one is to enter the shop. Whether or not they still have the lounge fly in stock, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to give it a go and check it out. And whilst we're in the queue to go inside the shop, I thought I would show you some of the fun display windows they've got here. Look at Donald. He's got a moustache on his beak. Like I said, the queue doesn't seem too bad at all. I'm wondering if that's because they've already sold out of the lounge fly or maybe they're just doing a really good job this time round and they will still have some in stock. And it looks like we're already in and they, they do seem to have the lounge flies. Oh my God, well done Disneyland Paris. There you go, you can see Saka do Chateau. This is the first time Disneyland Paris has released a lounge fly bag with the castle, the beautiful Sleeping Beauty castle, specific to this park. So it's not California's castle, it's not Walt Disney World's castle, and yeah, they seem to have quite a few in stock. I think there's a limit of two per person, but I honestly just saw a couple of people outside with like, I want to say 10 of them in the bag. So I, I mean, unfortunately, people will always find a way to get around these things but I've noticed they are also selling these official lounge fly organizers which is cool with the same design this is beautiful actually I wonder how much these are okay 30 euros so you basically I mean I don't have any of these myself but I think the, the idea is that you you know put them in the bag and it's got like little bits of you know compartments so then you can organize your lounge fly bag but the inside lining of this lounge fly looks phenomenal as well honestly it's beautiful and I'm very surprised to see it still here because the, this went on sale I want to say about two hours ago now it's still morning time I think it's around 11 30 right now but it, it has been a little bit of time since um, since it started selling and they still have some in stock and not much of a queue outside either so hopefully that means that when you do come to Disneyland Paris as long as you're here in the next month or so you might still be able to get it and maybe they will keep restocking it so maybe it won't even be a limited edition type of thing but yeah Look at the details. I think it's beautiful. I definitely will be purchasing this. I'm just so happy I've been waiting for a lounge fly bag like this for a long, long time. The back doesn't say anything. It's 100 euros, by the way. So definitely expensive on the more expensive side of lounge flies. It's gorgeous though. Okay, let's go and buy. Well, I may have purchased a couple of the bags. And I think at this point, you know me enough to know why I've bought two and not just one. So. If you want to know what I'm going to be doing with the second one, make sure you're following me on Instagram and there'll be some kind of announcement at some point in the upcoming days. It might already be up, so just go and check out my Instagram. And if you see that post, then there'll be loads of instructions as to what you need to do to maybe win one. And I've decided to go from one queue to another queue to hopefully meet Rabbit and Piglet.
all that was a lot of fun and the queue for them wasn't even too bad maybe about 10-15 minutes amazing both rabbit and piglet were so cute they wanted to try on my hat Disneyland Paris hat which I actually only got yesterday check out my vlog from my first day back in Disneyland Paris after my surgery a couple of months ago the champagne bar on Main Street is well and fully open today of course to celebrate 32 years of Disneyland Paris enjoy look at her 20 euros by the way and you get to keep the souvenir food Honestly, the weather is gorgeous today and how amazing was that show, the parade, a million splashes of colour. I love the soundtrack to it. Maybe even in some ways a little bit more than Ready for the Ride, even though Ready for the Ride was awesome too. But I wanted to come close to the castle because the castle is looking beautiful and today, because of the media events that are happening, I'm going to be spending most of my day actually in the other park, in Walter Studios Park and in one of the hotels, Newport Bay. So we had to say hello to the castle because this castle, Le Chateau de la Belle au Bois d'Ormand, the Stephen Disney Castle is my favourite Disney castle of all time and I think a lot of Disney fans even the ones who haven't even visited this castle say that it's one of their favorites it is so pretty and it's 32 years old today look at it it's looking amazing as ever it only looks about a year old hi Goofy how are you <laughs> oh good to see you anyway just like that we are in Walt Disney Studios Park where like I said I'm gonna be spending the majority of today for the celebrations here and I'm actually off to the studio theater in Walt Disney Studios Park for a conference which I'm very excited about I don't think I can film any of it to be fair but I'll let you know everything it's gonna be about the new show coming to Disneyland Paris and hopefully some more exciting stuff as well there you go this is where we're heading to studio theater for an hour and a half conference which like I said I'm very excited about hopefully we'll get to find out some new stuff and I'll be sharing all of it in the blog but also on Instagram Instagram is a very good place for you to follow me on if you want to hear everything before I've even posted it on YouTube like I said as far as I know we can't actually film anything but we can take photos so I should be able to share some photos with you afterwards but I'm so excited so they've got these little mics where you can well not mics earphones where you can listen to the announcements in different languages as well because it's going to be mainly done in French. Thankfully, I don't need one. And there we have it. We're just going to go and find a little spot to sit. We're in the auditorium now and I am here with Moni. Hello. And Brina. Are you excited for the announcements? Very excited. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be sure to let you, you know can afterwards. comment down below what, yeah, you, would what you think now. it's going to be. Yeah. Now, Leave before you guesses. watch uh, further. Yeah, exactly. It's about to start. I'll speak to you afterwards. To hours later. We invite you to leave Studio Theatre. We wish you a pleasant day at Disneyland Paris. Thank you. Okay, well, the conference just ended. It was about an hour and a half. And to be fair, they announced quite a few things, including a whole new name for the park that we're currently in, which I'll talk about in a second. But it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm excited about the future of this park. And I just love this song. Features starting uh, right now. So because there is a lot, and I mean a lot to talk about, about the conference that just happened at the studio theatre there behind me, I feel like if it's okay with you, I'm going to go back to my hotel because I was planning to go to the hotel for a couple of hours anyway, and then tell you about all the news that they announced when I'm in the hotel in a quiet environment. Okay, well I'm in my hotel room and I thought I would talk a little bit about all the announcements that were made at the conference. I actually literally made notes on my phone because as I mentioned, we weren't allowed to film anything, but we could take photos, so I'll hopefully insert some photos as I speak about the different news things that happened today. So Natasha Rafalski was the first person to come on stage. As you know, 
the president of Disneyland Paris and she talked a little bit about the different projects that have happened recently in Disneyland Paris and things to come in Walt Disney Studios but it was very generic for the most part the initial bit it was just some chats about what's been done so far and what we can look forward to in the future the first real announcement I suppose had to do with Davy Crockett Ranch which is one of the hotels here in Disneyland Paris it's actually the only Disney hotel in Disneyland Paris that's not situated on site so it's not within walking distance of the parks it's actually further out and you kind of do need a car to be able to stay there but it's a very popular place especially for larger families because you get your own bungalows it's like a little cabin and yeah the announcement said that they're going to be retheming the bungalows which is very exciting they're very much in need of a retheme and just renovation the last time I stayed there was in 2018 so it's been a while since I stayed there but even then even in 2018 I thought they were a little bit dated so I'm very excited about that even more so that the theming of these new bungalows is going to be Donald Duck and his family his nephews which is so fun here's some concept art of what it's going to look like and they did say that some of the bungalows with the new retheme should be available before the end of 2024 which is exciting and some of the other ones will then come into 2025 but I'm looking forward to that and let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to stay there again once they are rethemed and renovated with the new rooms then they talked a little bit about Disney Village because as we know Disney Village has been undergoing renovations for quite some time as well it's a few year project situation obviously Rosalie recently recently opened a few months ago one of the first new restaurants to come out of this renovation but it's gonna have a totally new look and Disney Village actually used to be called Festival Disney back when Disneyland Paris first opened in 1992 so there's been a lot of change already to be fair over the years but it's gonna look a lot more modern after the renovation process is complete for Disney Village it's gonna look a lot more like Disney Springs in Florida now some of the detailed announcements that they gave us well they showed us a concept art of some of the shops and it's got this beautiful Peter Pan design on one of the shops and they talked about how the Peter Pan design was actually drawn by pencil by hand as they did with old animations and I think that's really really cool they use multi-plane cameras again as they used to do as Walt Disney used to do himself back in the day so they really put a lot of detail and attention and love into the new theming and style of Disney Village which is really nice to see and my friend Moni who I was with even noticed straight away that they'd put the Gardens of Wonder which were the little figurines that they put out in Disneyland Park for the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris they're going to be now in Disney Village which I think is great it's good to recycle it's good to see something that was so special somewhere else in the parks and you know it definitely brings more life to Disney Village and I'm all up for it there's going to be a brand new homeware store coming to Disney Village which is exciting homeware is something that a lot of Disney adults I want to say especially really enjoy because some people just like subtle theming and with Disney homeware you can sometimes get things that just have a little bit of Disney on them but not full-on Disney so that's very exciting the Lego store in Disney Village actually celebrated its 10 year anniversary this year which is so amazing to see I actually remember when they first announced this Lego store was coming and now we're 10 years into it being in Disney Village and it's still as popular as ever and that's actually going to be getting a little retheme as well renovated shop outside area there's going to be some new Lego figurines buildings uh, coming there which uh, the cast member the Imagineer actually specifically said he thinks they're going to be very popular for Instagram so I'm looking forward to seeing what they build he also said there's going to be some new exclusive merch at the Lego store in Disney Village to Disney Village which I think is also a very good idea they also mentioned that there'll be loads of new restaurants coming to Disney Village but the only one they could talk about right now is McDonald's which we kind of already knew anyway McDonald's will be changing locations I mean it's going to be more or less very similarly placed to where it is right now but it's not going to be in the current building that it's at they're basically building a little building next to it to make McDonald's look better and more modern as well so that will be coming at some point they're also going to be renovating the sports bar in Disney Village as well so this is kind of more or less what we heard about the Disney Village side of things in terms of entertainment we were told that Scarlet Witch will be joining Doctor Strange at Avengers Campus later on in the year in 2024 which is very exciting for a new nighttime show which uh, yeah I'm not even a big Marvel fan but I'm really looking forward to that one and then of course the new Alice in Wonderland show which is coming to Walt Disney Studios Park very soon it's officially called Alice and the Queen of Hearts back to Wonderland and we not only got a date for its opening that's going to be on the 25th of May 2024 so really just over a month away very exciting let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be here for when it opens but we didn't just get a date but also a little bit more information about what went on behind the scenes to create this new show Alice and the Queen of Hearts and all the things that we can expect to see in the spectacle from BMX performers acrobatic style dancers and there's going to be trampolines on stage apparently one of them is like 14 meters tall which is I mean I'm very exciting I feel like this Alice show is going to be so unique and something that really only France can do like Disneyland Paris 
gets away with doing so many cool shows and some of them work some of them don't the majority of them work really well though and so even though you know on paper it might sound a little bit strange this new Alice show that's going to be coming to Walt Disney Studios Park I have high hopes for it I'm very intrigued and we got to hear a little bit of the song as well one of the songs that uh, is going to be in the show and I really liked it it was very poppy very fun again the kind of music that we've come to love and enjoy here at Disneyland Paris for their shows and entertainment so I'm looking forward to it I mean again I would love to hear your thoughts because it's only about a month away until this show premieres in Walt Disney Studios Park in the second gate of Disneyland Paris and it's going to be in the theater of the stars is what they're calling that theater now is where motor action used to be back in the days and last but not least we get to probably the biggest announcement of the day which has a lot to do with Walt Disney Studios now this is something that a lot of people guessed would happen but obviously over the past decade or so Walt Disney Studios Park has gone under a lot of change to be fair we've had the opening of loads of new lands like Avengers Campus and obviously Ratatouille opened a decade ago and before that we had Toy Story Land and Tower of Terror so really it's been a long time since that park has been actually focused on filmmaking and behind the scenes and studios if you will for quite some time I want to say about 15 years even maybe longer it's been more about adventures and different Disney movies and franchises and different lands so to speak it's not really been focused focused on filmmaking anymore, you know, with Studio Tramto going away, Armageddon, with the effects show, There's, there were so many attractions that used to make the park what it was, you know, being called Walt Disney Studios, and they've gone, they've long gone and there'll be more stuff coming very very soon in the next few years that's going to make this park even further away from what it used to be back in the day, so because of that, obviously it doesn't really make sense to have this park be called Walt Disney Studios anymore, and that's something that I thought about myself for quite some time, loads of Disneyland Paris fans had thought about, and yeah, because of that there will indeed be a name change an official name change for this park starting from when Frozen Land opens Arendelle which we don't have a date for that yet so many of you have been asking me on Instagram we don't know for sure yet there's no solid date yet I think we're gonna find that out at D23 in August in California so I'm excited to hear what they say then I don't see it opening until the second half of next year at the earliest personally but I'm looking forward to finding out a date but yeah the name change will be happening with the opening of Frozen Land and it's gonna be called I mean some of you probably already know if you follow me on Instagram but the new name will be Disney Adventure World. What do you think? Disney Adventure World? I'm going to just pop into Disney Adventure World and go on Tower of Terror and then go back to Disneyland Park. I think it works. I mean, I understand the hesitance because so many of us obviously are used to Walt Disney Studios as a name since 2002 when it first opened. So it will be weird. And I think it's normal to be a little bit hesitant. It's normal for us all to kind of need a little bit of time to get used to the new name. I mean, Disney Adventure World. But I don't think it sounds bad. I would love to hear your thoughts, though. I think we just need some time. I mean, we can't expect to just straight away be like, yeah, that's amazing. That makes total sense the name every name needs a little bit of time so I say let's give it some time and see how it goes but again please do leave a comment down below about your thoughts I'm very intrigued about what you guys think of the name change do you think it even needed to be changed I mean I think most of us agree that it should have changed like they, they needed a new name for this park because the theming is so different now but you know if you don't like the current name that they've decided for it what would you have gone for instead because I can't really think of anything else so Disney Adventure World works for me. The only thing I'm not so sure about is, you know, if you were to kind of just like shorten it, it would be D-A-W, so door. Like it just, that doesn't have a ring to it. I'm going to door, you know, like, I don't know. That's the only thing, but I'm being too specific here. So yeah, obviously with that, they also mentioned about some of the projects coming up for Walt Disney Studios Park, which is still called Walt Disney Studios Park until Frozen opens, some of the new lands that we can expect, some new concept art that hopefully you should be seeing right now. We're gonna be getting a new restaurant called the Regal View with the lake. There's gonna be characters. I mean, there's so many exciting things coming to this park. Studio One itself, obviously is gonna be closing very, very soon at the end of this month, actually end of April, 2024, to undergo a very, very long renovation process. The inside of it is gonna look completely different to what it has right now. It's still gonna have a similar vibe like a Hollywood film vibe but what they were saying is that they wanted to be more like a premiere like people are going into a premiere of a new film and that's going to be that first part of the park with the retheming and then they get to all the different lands of different films that they can go to I mean I think that works pretty well again I'd love to hear your thoughts that means obviously everything inside studio one will be going as well that includes restaurant on so <laughs> my least favorite quick service restaurant probably in Disneyland Paris 
farewell anyway i hope i haven't missed out on anything because obviously the conference was very very long and i don't want to bore you with a very long video here but i'll be talking about it more throughout my future vlog so if you're subscribed then you'll hear me talk about all these future projects with that being said i'm actually off back out in a bit going to newport bay around the corner i'm currently at sequoia lodge so very conveniently newport bay we're going to be going into i think some kind of showroom to see some of the costumes and some more artworks of the new alice show which i'm very much looking forward to and i'm pretty sure i can show those to you after that we've got a concert as well so the night is still young we're probably going to be out and about until about midnight and just like that we are at disney's newport bay club about to head into the convention center to check out this showroom i have changed by the way to my disneyland paris jumper that i got a few months ago but like it was appropriate and there it is this is the convention center where they've done the showroom so here we are let's have a quick look at some of the costumes of the new show coming here i mean everything looks beautiful very unique i like the style so this is alice's dress over here you can see the butterflies on her dress and we're about to get to the queen of hearts costume which looks incredible i mean look at all the details on the dress the sparkles the heart in the middle her crown it is stunning really cool to see the creative team's designs behind all the costumes and of course we've got the mad hatter over here look at that again it's like a unique take on the traditional alice costumes that we know for this brand new show and carrying on one cool thing is that here we've got the costume for the french sign language actor so there'll be a sign language actor on stage for the shows which is amazing it's always good when they make shows and everything accessible here in disneyland paris and here we've got one of the BMX uh, bikes over here. That's cool to see. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to this show. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think? Are you excited? Will you be checking it out if you're coming after May the 25th? And then this last one is costume makeups, flower dancers. So the dancers will be wearing these huge flowerful dresses wonderful okay well that was it i think next we've got a concert a disney concert which i'm about to head to now i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> ambassador disneyland paris 2024 2025 the disneyland paris 2024 2025 ambassador's team le 32e anniversaire de disneyland paris et comme vous le savez la musique a une place existentielle et essentielle dans nos histoires et dans nos expériences au sein de notre destination. À la musique Happy 32nd anniversary of the park 
and happy almost 30 years of the Lion King. Thank you all so much.
you soon. The future's out of now, right now. <laughs> okay, this was honestly one of the best. <laughs> This was one of the best two hours I've ever spent at this band palace. I love live music, especially when there's a full-on orchestra, which as you would have probably seen, they were there and they were incredible. They sounded amazing. So many amazing singers as well. So many fantastic songs. Tributes to the park. I mean, old school things that have happened in the park, like Fantalusion, Space Mountain, De La Terre à la Lune, which was the original Space Mountain here in Disneyland Paris from 1996, I believe, is when it opened. Oh, it was just amazing. One of my absolute highlights of this entire day and also probably my entire Disney life. We are now making our way back towards Walt Disney Studios Park, which is still called Walt Disney Studios Park until Frozen opens, um, to say goodbye. One last goodbye to Studio One. Sort of like the after party of that beautiful, fantastic one and a half hour, almost two hour concert that we just had there for us. I'm honestly feeling so lucky. Like throughout the concert, I cried multiple times. Music affects me <laughs> anyway obviously especially when it's live music with a fantastic orchestra and the fact that we were just talking the fact that we had this amazing concert for us for free the type of concert that people would pay hundreds of pounds for probably I would I probably have paid before to attend concerts like this but yeah they just they just did this for us to celebrate this Paris's anniversary and I honestly feel so lucky and I am in this position because of you guys watching the video so thank you so so much anyway I'll definitely talk a little bit more once I get back to my hotel about the amazing concert but we're heading into Walt Disney Studios Park now and we just walked past obviously Disneyland Park and the drone show was happening which was really fun to see it from the outside. Isn't it strange to think though now that we know at some point the entrance of this park is no longer going to say Walt Disney Studios on it like they're going to have to change all of this obviously Studio One is going to have to change it's going to be a totally different park in many ways. We are just walking into Walt Disney Studios Park as you guys can see they literally even just did an announcement welcoming us into Walt Disney Studios Park which very soon will no longer to be called that. Honestly, how cool to be walking into Walt Disney Studios Park through the main gates like this. Like, look at that. They've literally opened up the gates for us. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Merci. Bonsoir. This feels pretty special, I have to be honest. I love this park. You guys know how many times I've said it in my vlogs that this park, even though it's definitely not the most popular of the Disney parks worldwide, in fact, I would say it's probably one of the most or least popular um, parks. I've always loved it. It's one of my personal favorite parks. I enjoy it. I mean, don't get me wrong, compared to Disneyland Park, I obviously prefer the main park, but there you go. You can hear the announcement as well. That's a wrap. It's called That's a Wrap, this event that we're about to attend. That's a Wrap. And they've set a red carpet here for us in Studio One Bonsoir. This is so cool. And I think Oswald's doing a little meet and greet over there. People have already started queuing for him. The red carpet, look at that with the stars. It feels even more in theme with the kind of studios theme park that it's been for so many years, since 2002. They do have champagne for us here as well. I'm not going to be drinking tonight though because I just had surgery not so long ago. Oh, they look so beautiful. Mickey and Minnie are out there looking in their fantastic outfits, premiere outfits. We're just watching them from the window of Ankulis restaurant. It is interesting seeing restaurant Ankulis so quiet at the moment though. Love the dance moves. Look so dapper, so beautiful. Oh, look at you! So sparkly as well, Minnie. You look amazing, and Mickey, you look wonderful. Very smart. <laughs> Loving the night tonight. Oh, <laughs> thanks, guys. Oh, 
thought. You look phenomenal. I'm loving your look tonight. I mean, you always look amazing. You're always number one. But tonight, something else. Incredible, Donald. Daisy's is a lucky woman. <laughs> Aww. Loads of cameras are pointing at you at the moment. So good to meet you. And happy to be here for the uh, last oh, like a goodbye party for Studio One, right? And listen, it all started with you and then Mickey came. So you're important. You're important. <laughs> so, <laughs> I yeah, love it. Yeah, fresh, fresh flowers, flowers from Oswald, Oswald and Hortensias. Where's Hortensia oh. today? Cooking. So late. <laughs> Live eating is not really good, you know? <laughs> You're hungry, You're hungry. now I get I it. I can understand. Darling, I will eat any time. I'll, I'll be your date if you don't want Authentia. <laughs> I'm so sorry to say that. I love you, Oswald. You're amazing. <laughs> midnight five minutes past midnight this party won't end until 1 a.m. the band still playing over there amazing um, meeting Oswald was great I don't even know what I said to him I was a little bit overwhelmed actually because he is in some ways the OG really before Mickey even came about so that was pretty cool and yeah I think we're gonna hang about a little bit longer enjoy the atmosphere it's been so lovely talking to so many other fantastic Disneyland Paris creators that I obviously come to know since doing YouTube and um, I just love it. And here they do have the concept arts of some of the new things coming to Walt Disney Studios Park, or should I say Disney Adventure World. So this is going to be the World Premiere Plaza. As you can see here, uh, this is the atmosphere during night time. The Walt Disney Imagineering Paris teams are already at work to turn the park's former central square into a dynamic and warm environment. And this is what that's going to look like. This will be the World Premiere Plaza in the daytime. That's basically what uh, where we are right now, Studio One is going to be called after the renovations. And here we've got some more information about Studio One, a reimagined park entrance to mark the start of a new chapter. <laughs> it all feels very strange and emotional at the same time as it feeling exciting. And yeah, this is a world premiere overview. Um, the inside of Studio One is going to look like this. So similar kind of vibe, you know, it's still going to feel like you're, you know, outside and it's dark and it's uh, premiere is about to happen just different, slightly different theme. And there's gonna be a restaurant in here as well, obviously a different restaurant to what we have right now with En Coulisse. And yeah, close up view as well. Look at that, Disney Theater world premiere. Looks amazing. I am honestly so excited. Obviously it's gonna take a little bit of time, minimum a year, but it's gonna be amazing once it's out. It's just an announcement and officially turn the lights off and it's like a goodbye. That's a wrap until 2025 to Studio One. They're now playing emotional music. I'm not gonna lie, it is affecting me a little bit. officially five or six minutes to 1 a.m. on the 13th of April 2024 because we're officially now on the following day and we are oh my god they're playing when you look at the this is probably the last time I'll ever get to leave Studio One as it's been called for the past I don't even know 20 years or something since 2002 it is emotional it's nice to be outside though Studio One, look at that. We've had a day of so many announcements today and I think this year will be a great year of announcements and there'll be more that we'll be hearing about hopefully at D23 in August. Definitely I think the date for Frozen Land is going to be announced then and I have an announcement for you as well. I'm here with Moni. Moni, what are we doing in August? You just mentioned it, D23. We're going to D23. I am so excited. You've never been to California. I haven't been to D23. I haven't have been to I. California. So, so it's going to be her first time in the new. parks. It's going to be my, both of our first times in at D23. 
make sure you subscribe because there'll be loads of fun content. We're gonna like not sleep at all when we're no, there. We'll we're gonna bring it all to you. After one yeah, week, it will be fun. Well, it'll be fun. So yeah, subscribe because D23. I cannot wait, and this is an exclusive little announcement for you. I don't tend to do announcement videos, but I thought I would let you know, seeing as I'm with uh, Moni right now. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to see content from that coming up from mid-August onwards. But look at that. Look at Walt Disney Studio, Studio One. Uh, I'm so excited, but also, like I said, a little bit uh, sad as well, just because memories, right? I've had so many memories here walking through those gates, and yeah, it's all going to look a little bit different when they renovate it all. So we are about to leave the park now, and I think they're giving us little posters on our way out, which is lovely. Bonsoir, merci. Oh, this is cool. I think this is from the new concept, concept art that was shown to us today. Little postcards to keep. So yeah. It'll be nice, it's the new Walt Disney Studios slash Disney uh, Adventure World. I forgot for a second. I thought I would also show you the poster that they gave us, thanks to the lovely Brina over here for showing us hers. So it's a That's A Wrap Disney Studio One. Oh, beautiful poster, uh, 12th of April 2024, which was of course today. So that's definitely a keepsake, because, you know, that's no longer going to be with us, whereas this all we will see pretty soon. Thank you for being a great assistant. <laughs> And just like that, I am outside Walt Disney Studios Park for tonight. I mean, this park will still be around, don't worry. It's just, uh, like I said, next year is going to have a different name. Anyway, I feel like I'm probably going to end this video now. It's been a very long one, so I do appreciate you if you watched it all the way to the end. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, like I said, for just watching the videos. You watching the videos, if you comment, if you like my videos, just your support on these videos really make things like this possible for me to have a day like this. And I love sharing this Lantaris news with you. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. So to be able to do that and so many great things that we learned today, like I said, very very lucky and excited to hopefully be going back to Disneyland and D23 for the first time later on this year so make sure you stay tuned for that thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this vlog make sure you follow me on Instagram as well because the bag that I got earlier the lunch bag I will be giving it away so that will be all on Instagram and yeah I really appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video bye bye